Hello, everybody. Mike Pietro, Mr. Marathon, on a historical day here in Marathon. We're getting ready to move two houses that belong to Sue M. Moore, who helped in the school that was named after her, Sue M. Moore School here in Marathon, the elementary school. And we have two houses here that are historical houses that are being moved from 20th Street here at Marathon Marina down to 95th Street, where they will be archived and then put on pilings and set down into the ground area so that they'll be secured and be protected and then they're going to be renovated and uh, Mr. Brian Schmidt of Schmidt Real Estate Company is paying for the moving of these houses and historically saving these houses which were Sue M. Moore's residence in 1905 she had the small house which is behind us and the big house you see here to the other side that you'll be seeing as we move it the big house was her son which was made in 1925 so it's a historical day here this is the 14th of November as we start to move at midnight from 20th Street down to 95th Street. Standing next to me is Tom Fraley. Tom, Mike, Mike, this is kind of neat, isn't it? Tell us a little bit about uh, you know your role in this and getting things started and set up, and this is really historical. Well, it certainly is. I've been involved from the start here, thanks to Brian. Uh, we began the initial meetings on this project almost two years ago now, and uh, finally at the point this evening, we're ready to move them onto the site. We've done the clearing work necessary, the transplanting of trees, the augering of the foundations, we have the site prepped and ready to move the houses on site. Uh, we'll get them on site tonight, jacked up, and then we'll be able to continue with the foundation work. And hopefully by next month we'll have them scrapped down to new foundations. And they'll be ready for a new life, they're on Lime Lane. This is something that's really huge for Marathon, and we're very proud of it. And we thank Mr. Brian Schmidt for everything that he's done here to preserve these homes. We can't wait till they get fixed and painted and renovated for the people to come in and see how people live back in those days, 1905 and 1923. So you don't want to miss this one.